Ciao guys, Tyre Food here. So in a period where the smart speaker are becoming a big, big thing, Amazon is pushing like crazy to have Alexa in every household and Google is kind of doing the same with this assistant. Microsoft came out in a very, very shy way with the Invoke, a speaker powered by Cortana. But is Cortana or Microsoft good enough to hold the spot on our tables? Let's see after the unboxing. Let's take this box out and let's open this part too. speaker smells pretty heavy let's see how to open it over here and over here and doesn't want to go out here we are speaker there feels pretty premium like old metal with the ring and this rubber part over here and then how can I get here it should be the cable but <laughs> okay and put it up. A very tricky box. And here we have the charger. All the manuals. So like Invoke. How can we talk with Cortana? Because this is a Cortana speaker. And other metals. And I expect another cable here. Exactly. And the other cable. Let's open it. And here we are with the Armand Candor speaker. Let's talk about specs a little. So the Invoke has two radiators, three readers, three woofers for a 360 experience, it's all aluminum and feels very, very premium, has a dial for the volume and a capacitive surface on top that is gonna trigger some commands. So if you touch it. Ever heard of a pangram? It's a sentence that uses every letter in the alphabet. Allow me to demonstrate. And you can touch again just to stop everything she's doing, or you can keep it to trigger the action instead of saying, hey, and her name. What time is it? It's 1.36 p.m. But I have to say something. The touch on top is not the best. So you're gonna find yourself like so many times that's touching and don't have anything happen or just have a tip when you wanna stop and something like that. It's not super, super accurate. But this dial is amazing. You find yourself wanting to use the dial more than say, to Cortana to change the volume because it's so much satisfying and that's great. Um, you also have the not to not disturb button that turns Cortana red and the Bluetooth button to use it like every other Bluetooth speakers and that makes it a very very good speaker from the beginning because you can use it with your phone with your computer stuff. Setting up it is super super easy. We just tap on it. Ready for setup. We'll do this from the Cortana app on your phone or PC, so go grab that first. Then type set up my invoke. We write set up my invoke on the on the app and it's gonna open automatically. So we accept and we keep going. Sounds quality very good compared to the show that's at just two speaker. It's a totally night and day situation. It's a very premium, premium sound. And that's important for me and that's why I grabbed it because I found myself using Alexa more for music and alarms than from anything else. So I don't really need a screen. I found myself also triggering Alexa more times when I don't want to than Cortana. But sometimes to trigger Cortana on when I'm liking the music, 
I really have to yell. And it's something that I would like Microsoft to improve. Maybe it's just a software thing, but those microphones is one less microphone than the show here, but you can really feel that there's something different. You can talk with the, the show from everywhere. With Cortana, you kind of have to be in the same room or pretty close to trigger a command. And that's something they can improve. The only thing I'm really mad about is that right now, just to start, you have to have a premium subscription with Spotify. There's no other way because High Heart Radio and the other one that there is are not so great. Like you're gonna find yourself every time with the commercial and stuff and you can't even use the free Spotify. It's like you can't, you're blocked with the premium and that's horrible because on top of the price, you have to add the price of Spotify that is $10 every month. And so uh, that makes a, a big downside to me. The base of Cortana is about to use it like for calendar or information that she's gonna take from Wikipedia or being on everything. If you want something more, there are the skill available. There are not so many skills right now, but it's growing so much. Uh, like for music, there are just three, but it seems like Pandora is gonna come soon. Uh, when Alexa on the other side has a lot of skills. But activating the skills is super easy. You just go on the website and you look for the skills. And when you find the one that you want, you just say what, what is there. So like, hey Cortana, ask open table to reserve a table at Palomino. Before I can do that here, you will need to finish setting this up in the Cortana app on your phone or PC. So she's gonna bring us the notification over here. You just click on it and it opens all the service to log in and everything. Super, super easy. The thing I don't understand is like why Microsoft having Cortana in every device right now is not giving the same skills to the Cortana, no matter from where you're talking with her. So Cortana is everywhere. It's going to be on your phone. It's going to be on your computer. It's going to be on your Xbox and of course on your invoke but if she's connected for something like reminders alarms and stuff and be sure you're gonna wake up in every case when you put an alarm because everything is gonna just trigger on so you're gonna have the alarm going on on the invoke on the phone on the computer you're never gonna miss an appointment anymore and that's pretty cool but on the other side she's not connected in so many other things and we're talking about the same company that's like games everywhere and the cloud is pushing on the cloud like crazy. But why I'm not able to write an email with Cortana if I can do it from the computer? Why I can't do it from the Vogue? Why I can't write a message if it's connected, it's set it up with my phone, but with my phone I can write a message, but with the speaker not. Even and everything is on the cloud. She has all my numbers because if I ask, on Skype to call a number because that's all the landlines included. She's gonna call, but why I'm not able to write a message at SMS when is everything connected right now? It just doesn't make so much sense to me. I wish it was something that would include everything because right now I still prefer to use Cortana on my computer with a good speaker then use the invoke because I never know if she's going to be able to do something or not. So probably the answer will be add skills to Cortana. I hope that Microsoft is going to do it soon because right now is missing some features that that will be so easy to add. By the way, if you are on the music like me, this is a great product. I really suggest it like now with like Black Friday and Cyber Monday and everything was 99. I don't know if they're gonna keep the price. I hope so because for 99 is a steal. Yes, it has some downsides, but it's $99 and it's a great, great speaker. If you don't like Cortana, you can just tap on the button over here to have a Bluetooth. 
use it like a Bluetooth speaker and the quality is great. So I would really consider it. But if you want to go on something that is improving much, much more, just because there's so much more investment behind, Alexa is still the way to go. Okay, these were my thoughts about the Cortana speaker. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment below. I will really appreciate it and will try to answer as soon as possible. And if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. But it's the second video, so be nice with me and subscribe to the channel. Ciao! Hey Cortana, tell me a joke. Why did Humpty Dumpty have a great fall? To make up for a bad summer. <laughs>